Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Swiftec H2O 120 series water cooling kit. What's included in this package is a very detailed installation guide as well as a 2 liter bottle of Hydrox. This is an extreme duty coolant. It's a heat transfer enhancer and corrosion inhibitor. You mix this with 1 liter of distilled water. They also include an industrial pump, the MCP650. This one pushes around 317 gallons per hour of liquid. The pump preferably will get installed at the bottom of your computer case. Also included is a CPU water block. This is the MCW6000 series and it's all copper, very well constructed and has a very smooth base and that will allow great contact between it and the CPU. And lots of half inch tubing. They also include a fill and bleed assembly. This assembly gets installed in the computer's five and a quarter inch drive bay. The assembly will allow you to fill the system full of liquid or discharge the whole system. They also include the MCR 120 FB radiator. This is an all copper construction rad and they also couple that rad with a 120 millimeter fan. As an option you can get a rad box. This will allow you to mount the radiator and fan outside of the case. This is good because it will free up space inside the case and some cases you simply can't fit this radiator into. The rad box includes a PCI bracket. This bracket gets installed in your computer's expansion slot. The bracket itself essentially has four fittings, two on the inside and two on the outside, and they also include four tube clamps. They include one length of tubing. If you cut it in half, it should be a perfect length for two of these connections. They also include a number of standoffs. These are nylon, also some screws and nuts. This holding plate and a housing. Installation of the rad box is quite simple. First of all, install the PCI bracket into the expansion slot. Then make the tube connections from the bracket into the rad. Next, mount the fan onto the rad, but do it correctly. The fan needs to be blowing air this way, away from the case. Next, mount this housing onto the fan. You'll then need to select the correct nuts and bolts and nylon standoffs for your particular situation to mount this plate onto the case. Then take this, carefully slip it into the plate, then attach it with four screws. And when everything is installed, you can see right here that these two tubes are bent quite a bit. And to ensure that they do not kink, you want to keep them long enough, but not too long, and use cool sleeving on the full length of tubing. Installing the CPU water block is very simple. However, there is a correct and incorrect way to do this. I'll show you the incorrect way first. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. This is correct, or this is correct, bearing in mind that the orientation of the motherboard up is this way. Now let's go ahead and install this CPU water block. First of all, pop in the CPU, apply some thermal compound, and carefully place the CPU water block on top. Then place the hole down and next use the two spring clips included on either side and you can really see how easy this is. This design does not require you to remove the motherboard. And this is what it looks like when everything is installed. One important thing to remember is connect all the tubes securely and correctly to all the fittings. You do not want to have any leakage. And I want to show you the direction of flow with this particular kit. 
Remember, you could have a couple of CPU water blocks if you have a dual system, a chipset water block, a VGA water block, and even an extra radiator. So it comes out of the pump here as cool water going into the CPU water block. Coming out of that as warm water, it will get cooled by the radiator, come back in up through the fill and bleed system, come back down into the pump again as cool water, then the cycle will continue over and over. I will not be going into great detail on how to fill and bleed or completely discharge this system, but I will just generally go over how it works. It's quite simple, really. That fill and bleed assembly I showed you early in the review, well, that is installed at the top here in a five and a quarter inch drive bay. You have three valves on it. When you are filling the system, you will need to have the main valve closed and the inlet and discharge valve open. Of course, you'll need two tubes to be connected at the front. Both of those go into a bottle, which will contain the coolant as well as one liter of distilled water. And gravity will pull the liquid into the system. Once it's fairly full, you want to turn the pump on. The pump will do the rest. Make sure there are no bubbles left in the system. Once you do that, you can then close the inlet and the discharge valve, remove the tubes, and remember to open up the main valve. That is very important. Otherwise, the pump will not cycle the liquid through the system. And now, have a listen to just the pump. And now, the pump and the fan which is on the radiator. Keep in mind that this is a basic kit that has one CPU water block and one radiator. You can choose to get more than one water block, like a chipset water block, a VGA water block. You can even have another radiator. Also remember, this kit does not come with a reservoir or tank. And that's great because that would take up more space inside of the case. This is a completely closed circuit. You don't have to worry about evaporation, although I would check it every six months to a year just to be certain. The overall build quality and performance on this kit is kick-ass. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go into the forums and register and remember registration is completely free. Also keep in mind you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until the next time, take care.